Welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a mediation podcast and video series where we discuss mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. Today, we will discuss lessening anxiety around divorce with Miss Olivia Summerhill. Olivia is the founder of a financial consulting company, helping affluent women maintain their lifestyles and thrive post-divorce by educating and empowering them financially. Having over a decade of experience in wealth management and private banking, Olivia dedicates her time to protecting women. Her niche serves famous and high profile women who need help navigating the financial complexities of divorce. She also consults with financial advisors and family offices to help their clients avoid divorce mistakes. Welcome, Olivia. How are you doing today? What are some practical steps that individuals can take to prepare themselves for divorce in order to minimize this anxiety and uncertainty? Okay. The basic step. I mean, that's a long question, but it's a great question. So, I mean, the basics that you can do and anyone can do this to prepare for divorce is make sure you're taking care of yourself. So putting yourself first is very hard for most people. Put yourself first get that little walk in in the morning, get that five minute meditation or three minutes at the most, Mm -hmm. whatever you could do, eat a little healthier than you think that you want to, because that's going to fuel your body in a way that you can be prepared to minimize the anxiety when you have something tough later on that afternoon, like a a session with your mediator that um, you're wanting it to go well. If you exercise a little bit or meditate a little or take care of yourself by eating some healthy foods, that's going to help you minimize that anxiety as best you can. And also just acknowledging it, right? Um, that's yeah. going back to the first question is acknowledging that you're going to have uncertainty. Mm-hmm. We can't control the other party and letting go of that control is very hard. I think another thing is asking, this is a uh, more of in the psychology realm is what is the worst thing that can happen? So mm-hmm. I've asked that to clients is one thing, what do you not want to happen in five years? So going that almost negative route of seeing like, okay, what's the worst that can happen in this Mm -hmm. situation? If you address it, that uncertainty can kind of dissipate, can disappear because you're addressing Mm -hmm. what the worst thing can happen. And usually it's not as bad as you think it is if you address it. Because usually we just kind of, okay, we're so scared of what could happen. We don't think about it. We don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I think taking care of yourself and making sure you address what is the worst that can happen and and then talk about it. So talk about it with someone who understands. Yeah. And I love these steps too, because they don't require money. They just require reflection and changing some habits during your day. And I think that Mm -hmm. anyone, anyone can do that. I also will point out knowing your values. That's a huge Mm -hmm. thing I work on with clients and you can go online, chat GDP. You can talk about it with, you can just talk about like, what are some you know, top values that people have. So pull out 50 values from the internet or ask a friend what, you know, what are some values and work on it with, with someone else that is going to help you solidify and understand your top five. Mm -hmm. So getting from all these values and that's going to address where you want to be in that mediation or wherever Mm -hmm. you are, let's just say in that divorce process, knowing your values is going to streamline the process and it's going to guide you to where you want to go because if you say one of your top values is education, integrity, family, health, I mean, those are some values that if you're guided, it's going to make your divorce process easier or whatever you're doing easier. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's another strategy that I use as a tool and it's very successful with clients. 